Hello my friends, it is the FPS Treeski and today I got the Black Ops commentary for you on the map Havana. And no, actually it's <laughs> it's not a Black Ops commentary on Havana, it's more of like a tip video. Uh, you know, continuation part two of the motion sensor video I just put out. Anyway, that's my stolen intro for today. Uh, I'm doing this video though before I upload part one, so I won't know who guessed my intro from that video correctly until... Uh, probably my next video. So I'll go ahead and just shout out two and one that video and this video in my next one. So this first motion sensor spot on jungle you just place right next to that rock and it'll tip you off about anybody coming up from this back trail here as well as anybody going up the ladder into B hut that you may need to turn around and shoot. So B hut is really really critical for pretty much all game types on jungle. Um, and if you need to, you know, get somebody from that's coming up that back trail, you can either hop on that shack that I was just at, or you can come back here and use this window to kind of clip and and get them. One thing to note is that when you're aiming down sight right there where I am, your auto aim is going to take you away, so you got to kind of fight it and pull back, like I was just kind of showing. So, anyway, great spot on jungle. Use it all the time. I used to put it right here next to this tree, but I found that nades kind of, you know, um, are attracted to it more right there, and I will cut that clip with with the suspense of you not knowing whether I'd lived or died. Dun dun dun. <laughs> so anyway, next map we have launch. Launch, um, spawns are, spawns really like to flip on launch. So I like to sit a motion sensor down here so I can kind of tell which alley people are coming up. It'll get people in that left alley where that guy just ran and as well as that middle alley. Um, and I was showing you that you can clip behind that box over there. So the opposite side here you can do right here you can see when people are coming up this side alley as well as the middle alley and you can hop over that wall and shoot them in the back or stab them so two great spots on launch um great for holding down the middle of the map and just running back and forth like a maniac and and not really having to worry about people coming from behind you too much next map we have radiation radiation um if you want to hold down the control room it can be advantageous there's a demo bomb right here in this factory. Um, put a motion sensor there on that side of the machine though. It'll get anybody coming up that ladder. It'll get anybody in this room as they start to come up these stairs. Like those two guys did. Like that guy was about to. So anyway, great spot. Um, the reason I put it right there on that side is because when people are running up into this room, they're not going to see it. You notice how invisible it is if if uh, I didn't have that marker. What they're going to do when they come up here is they're going to look right here and, and into that corner. Um, but they aren't going to turn around and face those middle machines. So if you have to leave the room for some reason, your motion sensor is much more likely to stay in that spot than it would in that spot on the other side. So Next map we have coming up is Summit. So Summit, I'm going to show you an area that I really like to use to hold down the B flag. Um, you know, obviously B is my preferred flag to hold down every single map just because I trust myself more than anybody else. So what I'm going to show you is both a place to put your motion sensor and then a clipping spot. You want to you keep your motion sensor uh, right here. Come on, turn around, turn around. There we go. Put your motion sensor right here. And I put it in an obvious uh, position for a reason, but I'll get to that in a second. So spray hip fire for the win. <laughs> anyway, um, to hold down this area when you have C and B in their spawn in A, just snuggle up right next to those boxes there. You can poke your head out, check the other direction as well. Um, your motion sensor is going to tip you off anybody behind that box there. And you're really safe from gunfire. Now, the obvious location is for this reason. If anybody's coming up on this backside, they're going to see that motion sensor there and they're going to destroy it. Now, you might think that having your motion sensor destroyed is a bad thing, but in reality, it's probably better to have your motion sensor destroyed so you can be tipped off and turn around and spray like this rather than just have the guy sprint on through past your motion sensor and knife you in the back. So pretty hard for uh, 10 noobs to ignore a motion sensor or other type of equipment. Um, as soon as they see something like that, it's just like, oh my god, I gotta destroy this. This takes all priority. You know, even if there's a guy next to him, they're gonna destroy that. So whatever. A uh, nice little triple nade there. Oh yeah. Kill those combat bots. <laughs> so it's a pretty good opening nade. I like to throw right into that doorway for team deathmatch and demolition type games. I don't really like to run this route for domination. I more like to flank around the backside and clean everybody up on the B flag and shoot them in the back so that I can hop on B. So anyway, this motion sensor spot, um, you put it right there next to that wall about halfway. It'll tip anybody off or tip you off about anybody coming 
up these beach stairs or that those back like barn doors if you want to call them that now you can kind of patrol this area, look towards C from this barrel. You can go up to this car, uh, aim towards their spawn. You can go back to B. If the spawns flip somehow, you can aim towards A in the pool house there. Um, running in circles. I think I'm chasing somebody. Yeah. So anyway, that's that's my preferred area. I like to hang out that hang out at that triangle in domination. Make sure I have flak jacket on so I can't get naded. And pretty safe from gunfire. You got two great clipping spots. Burn, baby, burn. you got two great clipping spots. Uh, a lot of advantage in this area. So it is in the middle of the map. You know, a lot of times people will tell you to stay out the middle of the map. But as long as you know what you're doing, it's not bad. So right there where I'm shooting is their spawn area. If you have A and B, they'll always spawn back by that rock um, building. Unless somebody pushes up towards C, then they can spawn closer to the guard tower or they can spawn down on the beach. So yeah, uh, very rarely I think they can spawn behind where I was in those uh, in that area that the MLG guys call Mexico, Mexico, behind those barn doors. Now this next map is WMD. I'm showing you a nice little opening route I like to run. I hop up onto this overhang here. Take anybody by surprise who already made it up into top steam. This middle building here, which we call steam because it has those giant pipes on the roof with steam coming out. So. Anyway, I like to set my motion sensor there in the middle, and I kind of demonstrated this in a live commentary video I had a while ago, so if you want to check that out, you can kind of see it in action here, and it works really well. You'll be tipped off from both these stairs I'm at now, like I saw that guy coming on the motion sensor, as well as the middle stairs. One thing to kind of look out for is the window. I'm not sure if I'm going to approach it anytime soon. The window with the barrels right outside that they can hop onto the barrels and, and go through. Um, so they can they can kind of catch you off guard there if you're not really paying attention but anyway you can shoot towards the spawn like i was just looking at in demolition you can aim down here towards the b i think it's b i don't know towards one of the demolition bombs um in domination you can hold down this area for the b flag the a flag you can get people off the yellow pipe there you can get people off the top catwalk in that side boiler room factory um, just a great place you, your team really needs to control this top steam building and you can do it by yourself as long as you have a good motion sensor and good map awareness and whatnot and something other than the mini Uzi so anyway the next area on this map is for this side boiler room now this can be good for domination if you have somebody else up in top steam you set your motion sensor in that near that back wall that I just set mine at you can go a little more towards the middle if you want but I find that that corner is the most grenade resistant. So anyway, you set that motion sensor there and you'll be tipped off by anybody who's approaching from that back alley, that little corner lot. And you can clip those barrels that I was just at and you can shoot them. You can also sit at those beams as long as you have A and B and you can aim toward that middle gate area, the yellow pipes, um, the top offices there and shoot anybody that comes. So another great area for holding down BDOM. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll have some more tip videos out, but anyway, hope you have a good day.